All right, well, it's Lent. 40 days of self-sacrifice. Mm -hmm. so you don't eat meat on Fridays. You got to give something up for Lent. Oh, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. And here in New Orleans, we all know how to sacrifice. So we have to eat seafood. It's really sad. We'll see how sad it is today on CUI. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia! Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence. I'm Sean, your host and chef du jour. Today, it's Lent. It's been a couple of weeks since Mardi Gras, it's a couple of weeks till Easter. 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter is Lent. It's Lent, we have to sacrifice meat. Here in New Orleans, that's not really much of a problem because we have some kick-ass seafood. Lent is the season of sacrifice, and as we all know, you can't eat meat on Fridays in Lent. It used to be, back before Vatican II, you couldn't eat meat at all during Lent. Ooh, I, know. I know, how sucky is that? I tried to research the origins of Lent, why is it 40 days? Why do we have to sacrifice this stuff? Why is it between Ash Wednesday and Easter? And my mom gave me some very metaphysical, esoteric, spiritual reason. Whatever. Uh, so I looked it up on Wikipedia and that wasn't really much help either. So anyway, it's Lent. Pecan crusted catfish oh. with shrimp bechamel sauce oh. and some steamed asparagus. I know, huh? <laughs> Such but a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. But before we start cooking this, every good chef knows we need a drink. Today's drink is White Russians. Oh, look, I'm out of the first one. All right, White Russian. What goes in a White Russian? Interestingly, a black liqueur, Kahlua, vodka, which is, which is kept in the freezer, so it's nice and chilly. 2% milk, right? Yeah, sure, 2% milk. I'll get right on that. <laughs> One of the fun things about making a white Russian is watching is all the different specific gravities. Meaning, the Kahlua stays at the bottom, then you have the vodka in the middle, and then you pour the lighter milk, and the, watch it mix and meld and cloud up. An but Irish no. Singapore sling. I An think. Irish Singapore sling. But it's called the White Russian. Wow, that is really transcontinental. How do you fuck up a White Russian? Alright, just mix it up. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, that is good. That is better than the last one. Where'd my drink go? I just poured it. Where the hell is my drink? Behind you. Fuck! Are you drunk already? Probably. You haven't even started cooking yet. Now those are pecans, not pecans, right? Pecans, not pecans. All you people that say pecans, um, send me an email with your name and address and I'll have to come and kill you. Pecans. Or if you're really from New Orleans, you say buckons. Take our little blender, because I don't have a food processor. Nope, the buckons in there. Grind them up. Make a nice flour out of the pecans. What did I make? Fajitas. I made fajitas and the blender died right in the middle of the episode. Oh. Actually, all nuts are full of oil. What do your nuts have in them? Gilio's a catfish here. Yum. Let's get a little lime juice and sprinkle that. Squeeze that onto the catfish. <coughs> what are you doing? Ooh, jealous. <laughs> and cover it. Cover it. Cover it with a bunch of pecan dust, flour-ish kind of stuff. If I only was a fish, doo -doo 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 -doo, I could spend every moment just waiting to get into your tummy. If I only was a fish. So let's add a little salt, good flavor enhancer. If all you people with high blood pressure and can't have salt, I don't care. Little pepper. A little cayenne pepper for a little oomph to it. 350, sure, that sounds good. Sounds good. 
The fish doesn't take long to cook in the oven. So let's do our sauce first. This is asparagus, asparagus. Nature's sex toy for beginners. Totally went there. Cut off the end of the asparagus. Like, and if you're a green person, then you'll just put this in the compost pile so you can replenish the earth and its energy. Or if you're like me, it was just fucking bitching in the trash. And since Mark couldn't decide what he wanted for vegetables, we're also doing broccoli. Bechamel is like the basic sauce, like the mother of sauces. And you can add stuff to it to make it whatever flavor you want. You can make a cheese sauce out of it, you can make an herb sauce out of it, cream sauce, whatever. Now bechamel starts off basically like a roux. Remember I showed you how to make a roux back in the gumbo episode. Six tablespoons of butter. That's butter. a stick. I so, put the butt in butter. Okay, so let's let that melt in a low heat. That's on four. I don't know what four is. I'm not taking the batteries out of my vibrator. I'm guessing this, this is not going going in, 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 into the video live. It very well may, actually. <laughs> That's pretty funny shit. Six tablespoons of flour. Exactly six, right? Yeah, you see how well I'm measuring it, right? Very it's like flour and butter. It's daytime, so there's like lots of light. Ooh, that's good. I doubt it. By a designing women marathon. Oh, a designing women marathon after the Golden Girls marathon. Wow. Is that gay or is that gay? That is like gayer than a drag queen. Like mm -hmm. a tragic drag queen. Turn the heat down. The recipe, bechamel, you add milk, but I'm using half and half. Sprinkle a little bit of pepper. I mean, what is this? Salt, kosher salt. I'm gonna use black pepper. It, you should use white pepper so it doesn't show up, but you know what? I don't have any white pepper. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia. Ooh, it is good. Actually, it is. I'm gonna add some fresh tarragon. Which I really want to grow in my garden. It tastes good in a mint julep, you know what? I bet you it would taste good in a mint julep. Why don't, why don't a we find tarragon out? julep. Why don't we find out? Oh my gosh, a tarragon julep would be mm. the bomb. Now we're going to do our shrimp sauce. Because it's a bechamel shrimp sauce. Swimps. Swimps. All right, our swimps, me and Mark, we peeled and butterflied these ahead of time. Just to, because I didn't feel like filming freaking peeling shrimp, who gives a crap about that? Spice those up a little bit. Let's add some guava. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a lot of salt. Oh, jeez. A little oil in our grilling pan. Swim. Ow! Fuck, oh, I burned myself. All right, now I'm making a uh, hollandaise just to go on the asparagus and broccoli. Oh, my God, really? I'm not going to go all into the... Holidays because I did that on the Eggs Benedict episode. Been there, done that. My gosh, it smells good. That does smell really good, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Alright, our shrimp are done, so let's take those off the heat. Good. Yeah, let's take that off the heat. Oh shit, I never cooked the damn fish! Fuck! That in the oven. I'd say the oven is preheated by now. Yeah, I'd say it's preheated already. No wonder it's so freaking hot in here. So, our hollandaise is all hollandaise. Our bechamel is bechamel. Our fat grams are uncounted. Let's add some lemon juice to that. Why not? Why not? Uh, tarragon jewels may have to be the next drink on Cooking Under the Influence. Oh, yum. I wish I had some bourbon right now. I wasn't so drunk, I'd go out and get some. That tastes good. Really good. Layers. Ooh. See how it goes down? Good stuff. Javier, clean up on aisle two. Gonna flip our fish. It's exactly like flipping a bird. No, no, flipping the bird. Oh, flipping the bird. That's a whole different thing. All you people that All your you experience of seafood is Red Lobster. John Paul's. Oops. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! Down between the 
What a perfect timing. That's that the god of red lobster getting me back. Motherfucker. Mice I'm sure the mice will be thrilled with that. And if I clutch my heart and die of diabetic overload, it's because of this man here. It's one way to get rid of me. Here, have some more. That's our uh, pecan crusted catfish. That looks pretty damn good. A uh, nice grilled shrimp on top of there. Oh my gosh. Top the catfish and shrimp off with the bechamel. Mm. A little bit of broccoli. A little bit of asparagus. Some hollandaise to go on to the asparagus and broccoli. And we're going to top off the catfish with a little bit of green onion. Lots of sauces. Not a fat gram to be found. Want to try it? Eat it. Mm. Damn, that's good. Yeah, this is how we sacrifice during Lent. Oh my God. So good. This came out really good. Can this man cook or can this man cook? This man can cook. Till next time. Next episode, you had the best idea for a drink. Freaking tarragon juleps. Yes! Absolutely. Until next time, thank you for watching. And adios. The horror. Red lobster. Ugh. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia. <laughs>